Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be talking about the common daisy plant. So folks, the daisy is grown in a lot of different parts of the world. It is grown in Asia, it is grown in Africa, it is grown in Europe, etc. So the daisy family has innumerable number of species of plants. The Gerbera daisy, the Chrysanthemum, the Asters, all these plants belong to the daisy family. The name daisy comes from the original name Day's Eye. So one of the most distinct characteristics of a daisy plant would be its yellow center. This is a very good pollinator friendly plant and it is loved by butterflies and bees alike. So folks, I must tell you that my attempts at finding the exact name of this species that you see here was futile. I must tell you here that regardless of whether you find the exact name of the daisies that you bring home, it doesn't really matter because the daisies have very similar care conditions and if you follow these few tips, then you can take care of any kind of daisies that you bring home. So this daisy that you see here is a little peculiar because I have not seen a daisy that has so many flowers that come out of one stalk. And you must note that it also bears semblance to the chrysanthemum because the flowers almost look like a chrysanthemum flower. Because you can see the same green elements behind a chrysanthemum flower as well. So this particular daisy requires staking because it is very floppy and it can grow really tall. So the leaf margins of this plant is heavily spiked and it almost looks like a cross between the hibiscus leaf and the chrysanthemum leaf. So folks, if at all you find the exact name of this particular daisy variety, then please write in to me by writing or commenting in the comment box below. So the daisies are grown very commonly in a lot of gardens as perennials or annuals. So if at all you're living in a frost affected area, then you can grow this as an annual. However, you can propagate this plant with the help of divisions or with the help of seeds. So as you can see, when I had first got this plant, the center was dark or rich yellow. But now you can see it is turning a little green because it has been heavily populated and it is time for it to set seed. So now it is time for me to repot this particular daisy into another container. So once you remove this plant from the nursery container, you can tease the roots if it is heavily root bound or you can just keep it as is if it is not root bound. This is not completely root bound, however, I'm just going to tease a little bit so that it does not send out roots in a circular fashion. So here I have taken a terracotta container and you can take any kind of container but remember that the container must be one size bigger than the existing container. And to facilitate drainage you can add some drainage materials as well. So since this is a flowering plant I will be adding a generous amount of compost. You can add goat manure, you can add cow dung additionally. So the potting mix that I will be using is 50% garden soil, 30% compost and 20% sand. Make sure that your potting mix should be well draining and the daisies do not like very soggy water laden conditions. So now let us talk about the sunlight requirements. So the sunlight requirements of this plant is quite basic. Since this is a flowering plant, it needs a minimum of at least 6 hours of sunlight. So if at all you have a patio with a southwest facing location, then you can add this plant there or you can keep this under full sun. If at all you are living in a very hot climate, then you might have to protect this from afternoon sun. So now let us move on to the watering aspects of this plant. So watering again is quite minimal. Do not overwater this plant. However, if at all you see the top layer of the soil drying, then you will have to water this plant. Otherwise, the plant will wilt and die. So underwatering, if at all you keep it on a terrace or in your garden, is not desirable for this plant. So as a tip, I would suggest that you water this plant every day during the summer months and reduce watering during 
the winter seasons. So folks, staking of this plant is very important because this plant grows really tall than the other daisies. But remember, while staking, do not hit the root ball directly. Do stake this plant in a diagonal fashion like I have done here. Fertilizing any flowering plant is very important. So I would suggest that you add compost every once a month or you can additionally add cow manure or goat manure. And the most interesting aspect of this plant is that it flowers throughout the year and it is also a perennial which will come year after year. So pest damages could be possible. You could have some aphids or mealyg bug attack. You can just use some neem oil spray and you can get rid of them. Slugs and snails could also be an issue for this plant. So if at all you stay in an area which does not have nurseries, you can buy seeds online and grow it yourself. So folks, we have come to the end of this video and like I always say, if at all you have liked this video, then please do not forget to like, subscribe and share. And additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and the link will be provided below. And I really appreciate the way you are responding to me on the community page as well. So folks, thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and until I meet you again, a very warm goodbye.